All right. Merry Christmas. Uh, this uh, video is the five uh, traditions of holding the uh, drumsticks straight and the traditional way. And we're going to explain to you, we're going to give you five uh, reasons of how you do this and why. Why some drummers hold them one way and why some drummers hold them the other way. You know, why drummers hold them straight and then why the traditional. And there are many, many drummers that uh, do uh, play traditional <laughs> and that uh, are rock and roll. And uh, one of them is Charlie Watts, and this, you know, Ringo, a lot of people. And this, th number one, the re what, the, what traditional is, you're holding it in your between your two fingers and you're holding it in between the your forefinger and the middle. And you want to be able to twist, take your wrist and snap it. So you're snapping it like this. And what happens is it's easy to do rolls and to go around the drums, it's a little easier to do that. Uh, plus, you know, there's a lot of different, uh, a lot of uh, reasons why people do this. And like the old school drummers, most of them, a lot of them were jazz drummers. Um, and, and they, you know, they're, they're doing a lot of... So what happens is you're able to be a little quicker and, and you get the you get that little groove going with it. But what hap that was what I did. I orig originally started off traditional. So that's tip number one, why they hold it that way. And there are still now a lot of rock drummers that do this. Um, and like I said, Ringo was one of them. But for myself, playing rock and roll, I like, I'm a slammer. I just like to like slam the drums, you know. I'm, so uh, I went from traditional, and I that helped me a lot. But what I did, tip number two, is the reason I switched to straight, and I it was it was difficult to, for me to learn how to do that, but it but I got used to it, and I can go around the drums. Whenever I whenever you're holding them traditional, your shoulder. And arm is in closer to the drums, and you can you can go around the drums faster. But when I, when I hold it this straight, I, my elbows go out, and, and then I have to come in. There's more of a movement. So I like the reason I like this uh, straight stick because I think it looks cool. <laughs> no, I just like playing it this way. I learned I can do, you know, I can flams. And also do the cymbals instead of holding this stick like this and hitting both the cymbals, it's uncomfortable for me to do that. So um, that was that's two, and uh, three is um, actually the reason I also use the uh, rubber dips is because I have a better grip. I've always uh, had sticks that I never had that for the years that I've been playing. So what I did was I, I used to sand, I used to sand, get some rough sandpaper, and I used to sand to get, the var get that varnish off so they wouldn't be so slippery. And because I, I didn't, you know, I would, a lot of times I played and I'd be playing for hours in a nightclub and it would be very very hot and I would be sweating and the sticks would just slip right out of my hands I'd have to hold them like this you know and uh, it was uncomfortable for me to do that so once I sanded them they were easier to hold on to and then they came out with the grips and I liked the, I like this some guys like it some don't so what was that three all right four is this, these are my buddy's sticks. Actually, the cameraman, the guy with the, <laughs> that dude. <laughs> and uh, anyway, if, if you can see, these are really shiny. That What that is, is it's a electrical tape. So it's the 
it's a cheaper way to do it. And uh, I, I've seen him do that, and he seems to like that a lot better. It, plus, he's also cheap. <laughs> so it only costs a few bucks for electrical tape. But this stuff, he breaks a stick, and which amazes me. And what he does is he takes the same tape off, and he'll wrap another stick the same way. And so, you know, that's, that's what he does on a regular basis. So um, it it uh, seems to work for him. But for me, I have these. I also broke my index finger playing football, and it I don't get a really good grip with it sometimes. If you notice, I've played in my sticks. have gone, like, out, out to the mar Mars somewhere, you know. <laughs> but for the most part, I like this because they're more comfortable. All right. And I think that's uh, – we'll cover that. This is for basically all the new – the guys uh, and girls out there that uh, just got drums for Christmas and they don't know how to hold their sticks. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to have more videos on what you get, what to do with when you get the new drums. And more than likely, if you get new drums, there you're going to probably want to get new heads unless you get something a little bit more like Gretsch or whatever. But uh, if you get a beginner set of drums, you're more than likely you're going to need to get a, another set of heads on them because they're not going to sound right. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. This is Donnie at Donnie Rock Ave. And I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. See you again.